children good morning to you all hope you have done yesterday's work copying the notes i sent even the text message also to make it easier for you to copy so today we are continuing with some two more questions and then we are going to the next topic let me first complete the question answers two more whatever left they are think and answer type questions which i am going to include in uh, the previous questions first i gave three questions right i am going to add them today's questions also to that list i am going to add those questions to today's list three questions i gave on the other day today i am giving you two more questions think and answer which we are writing as fourth and fifth okay the other day we wrote three questions today we are writing <coughs> fourth and fifth one nine two think and answer we are taking as fourth and fifth question right let us start without delay so please be with your notebook textbook with you and while i am i reading on the work from the blackboard you please listen to me properly carefully and that would help you to learn the answers and copy from the text message right i am writing on the blackboard as well as i am sending you the text message to make it easy here what i write and read that would help you to learn the answer text message would be clear enough to copy the answers so let us start without delay today's question is i am not writing the heading again because we are continuing fourth question what is it how did the strangest words how did the strangest words how did the strangest words affect rachel how did the strangest words affect rachel how do they become important how do they become important in the story so what the question how did the strangest words affect rachel how do they become important in the story okay so the strangest words proved strangest words proved right when rachel when rachel noticed the bird
motionless. Motionless. On his foot. He Stopped singing. He stopped singing. From time to time. He hopped just inside his cage. So Rachel went outside Rachel went outside and observed that that it was very white no sound of wind no sound no sound of wind then she realized that the canary <clears throat> sang only when he heard <clears throat> the sound of wind see i am writing till the bottom you don't need to worry anyways i am going to give you in the typed form here just we are going to read the answer understand if i write somewhere upset it would be a confusion for you to read that's why so answer is completed let us read it two times. Hmm. How did the stranger's words affect Rachel? How do they become important in the story? The stranger's words proved right when Rachel noticed the bird motionless less on his perch. 
he stopped singing from time to time. He hopped just inside his cage. So Rachel went outside and observed that it was very quiet. It was very quiet. It was very quiet. No sound of wind. Then she realized that the canary sang only when he heard the sound of the wind. So, how did the stranger's words affect Rachel? How do they become important in the story? The stranger's words proved right when Rachel noticed the bird motionless on his perch. He stopped singing from time to time. He hopped just inside his cage. So Rachel went outside and observed that it was very quiet. No sound of wind. Then she realized that the canary sang only when he heard the sound of the wind. That is our answer. Now let us See whether we could write the fifth one. We are going to the fifth answer. Masterpiece Masterpiece Did she do the right thing? Did she do the right thing by exchanging it by exchanging it for the canary? Explain. So, the quilt was Rachel's masterpiece. Means, extraordinarily good thing she did by stitching it. Very nice thing it was. Did she do the right thing by exchanging it for the canary? Explain. So, our answer goes like this. The quilt... was Rachel's the quilt was Rachel's masterpiece the quilt was Rachel's masterpiece yes she did it The, she did the right thing. She did the right thing by exchanging it. For the canary.
for the calorie. Because when she saw her mother, when she saw her mother, Mother's face light up with delight. When she saw her mother so delighted. on seeing the canary fin seeing the canary fin so she Thought that her mother would enjoy the canary's song. And does Rachel was Rachel could bring happiness. Bring happiness in her mother's life. In her mother's life. So, the quilt was Rachel's masterpiece. Did she do the right thing by Exchanging it for the canary? Explain. The quilt was Rachel's masterpiece. Yes, she did the right thing by exchanging it for the canary. Because when she saw her mother so delighted on seeing the canary sing, she thought that her mother would enjoy the canary's song. Thus, Rachel could bring happiness in her mother's life. Understand? So, the quilt was Rachel's masterpiece. So important for her. Yes, she did the right thing by exchanging it for the canary. Because when she saw her mother so delighted on seeing the canary sing, <coughs> she thought that her mother would enjoy the canary's song. Thus, Rachel could bring happiness in her mother's life. That's why she could buy canary by exchanging the field. Okay, so she felt that 
Her mother's happiness is more important than her quilt. So the quilt was Rachel's masterpiece. Yes, she did the right thing by exchanging it for the canary because when she saw her mother so delighted on seeing the canary sing, she thought that her mother would enjoy the canary's song. Thus Rachel could bring happiness in her mother's life by exchanging the quilt for the canary. This is what is our answer. So I hope this is a long, these are lengthy answers. You have to write them properly in your notebook. Okay. So, this is what. Next, <clears throat> values of life. Know your values. Here, Rachel understood the value of her mother's happiness is greater than her quilt, her masterpiece. What Rachel understood? Rachel realized that her mother's happiness is greater than her masterpiece quilt. So she, why? Because it brought happiness in her life. Canary brought happiness in her life, her mother's life, I mean. Rachel felt that her mother's happiness is more important for her than her masterpiece quilt. So she exchanged it for the canary because her mother enjoyed uh, the canary's song. And she was happy to see her mother. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> her mother happy. Understand? This is what did she do? She valued the feelings of her mother. She did something good in by bringing happiness in her mother's life. Here is one small question for you. You have an exam and are hurrying to school. During the exam, you don't want to be late to the school. Okay? You are hurrying, going very fast to school. Understand? When Rachel realized that the tornado is about to hit, she first runs so, to the field to warn her father and then returns to the safety of the cellar. This is because she cares for her his safety. So, when tornado occurred in their town, Rachel informed her mother to be in a safe place. And she her father was in the field. So she wanted her father also to come back home with the cattle to, to be safe. That's why she, without caring for her own safety, he ran to the field and informed her father about the tornado. Thus she saved her father's life. Understand? Here, what we understand? We understand that Rachel cares for the family. She had a great concern for her family. That's why she did not leave her father on his own and helped him to come back. Such a way, if you are going to the school for the exam, exam means you don't want to be, a, be late by a single minute also. So you are hurrying to school. Then you can see one small child injured and crying in the middle of the road. You can see one small child of our school, you think, LKG, UKG, coming to school alone, first class boy. He is running to the school with a heavy bag. He falls down and got injured too. Uh, injured. And he was sitting in the middle of the road and crying. Understand? No one is stopping to help him. What will you do? Nobody is caring for that little child crying on the road. So what will you do? Do you care for the values of life or you care only for your exam? Yes, children. The value of life is more important than any other thing in the 